Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the rolling mill to make some impression jewelry. Now, this is jewelry that was created from sheet metal that was rolled with a paper pattern to create interesting detail. In this case, I cut a geometric pattern into some Bristol board and ran the sheet metal through the rolling mill with the paper to create the positive, negative, matte, and bright, shiny material that you see on the rings. Now, the material was cut into rectilinear forms, and I simply added a simple wire ring to the back to turn it into a wearable. Now, the bracelet was just simply a piece of brass that was brought to a high polish and then run through the rolling mill with this paper pattern. To do this, all you need is some heavy gauge paper. In this case, I'm using Bristol board, but it could be any type of paper. And I used an X-Acto blade to cut my pattern. Now, if you're not handy with the X-Acto blade and you're not very accurate with it, you could substitute with paper punches to create a pattern with whatever type of punch that you buy at the hobby store. So what I have here is an annealed piece of copper and a pattern that I've cut out of the Bristol board and I'm going to run it to turn this into a blank for a bracelet. It's really easy. The first thing I need to do is to open up the rollers of the rolling mill. So I'm going to open them up just by cranking the handle and then I'm just going to put the material into the rollers. Next, I'm going to shut the rollers down and tighten them to the point where they give me a distance that's equivalent to the paper and the copper sheet. Now I'm going to use the dials at the top to record what that size is. Okay, I've got it. Now I'll just open up the rollers and remove the material. I place the rollers back to that position and then just tighten them up slightly in order to give me enough of a push to push the paper into the copper material to give it a nice pattern. Okay, I've got the paper and the copper lined up and I have the handle up. It's always easier to start by pushing than pulling. Okay, I'm going to put the piece to the back and it's important to make sure that this runs through the mill straight. All right, I'm ready to go. Okay, we've got the paper, which shows that it's been impressed or embossed along the patterned area, and here is the impression on the blank of copper. Now this should be finished and rounded on a bracelet mandrel to turn it into a wearable. I hope you have fun making impression jewelry with the rolling mill. Check out our other videos and products on the onlinejewelryacademy.com. Thanks for watching.